Hello, welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will discuss the post-analysis options for WinTA software for dilatometers. All TA dilatometers measure four variables. Those values are furnace temperature, sample temperature, change in length, and time. Everything else is calculated using these four variables. Let's take a look at the Files tab. Let's pick the axis coordination. Here you can customize your data by picking different variables. For exporting to an Excel file, you need to go to Print and select Print CVS file. You can then open the file in Excel. For exporting the graph, pick Export Graph and you will have options such as Complete Program Window, Zoom or Only Graphic. To view alpha values, you can directly go to Options and select Differential Alpha for two points. From there, you can enter the two temperatures that you would like to get the alpha value for. Press Calculate. The unit for alpha is parts per million per Kelvin. If you want to find the softening point on the graph, then you need to go to Entries and pick Softening Point. Take your mouse and go over the area that you're interested in. Keep your finger on the left button of your mouse and drag a rectangle on the desired area to find the peak of the curve. To find the glass transition temperature, you will need to draw two tangents. After glass transition temperature, the coefficient of thermal expansion changes, which means there's a slope change. Try to find the linear sections of the curve before and after the slope change and draw two tangents. Then go to Entries and select TG and pick Automatic and the software will find the intersection point of the two tangent lines and label it as glass transition temperature. If you want to save a specific analysis, you will need to go to Treatment and Save. You can save up to six treatments for every file. These are just some of the options available using WinTA software. In this TA Tech Tip, we learned how to analyze the dilatometer data. Please stay tuned for more tech tips from TA Instruments. Thank you for your interest.